Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a very simple thing. I have always thought whether to do this or not and I saw a YouTuber doing something with this. This is called Avula. It is actually cooked rice that's been pressed down and dried in the sun. A lot of Indian people will buy this and they always have it in their homes. They make various recipes with it. I only use it to make thosai or idli. When we soak the rice and the ulinda, I'll use a little bit of this instead of old rice. Sometimes I use old rice. If I don't have this, then I use old rice. It's very cheap and I would suggest people who have never bought this before, you can buy it in small packets. It's not at all costly, maybe $2 or $1.50 at the most, a small packet like this. So what I've done is I have sieved it. Okay, uh, hari ini auntie nak buat sesuatu dengan ni ya. Ini orang India akan panggil awala. Orang Hindi semua akan panggil dia poha. Kami gunakan ni untuk banyak makanan semua. Tapi yang auntie tahu ini. Dan saya juga gunakan ini untuk buat tose ataupun itli. Kalau tak ada nasi lama, kita gunakan ini. Okay, dia sebenarnya nasi yang sudah masak. Lepas tu baki-baki dia, dia orang akan lenyekkan. Dan keringkan di matahari lah. Dulu orang buat dekat rumah saja, tapi sekarang uh, dekat factory semua dah buat ini. Okay, dia tak mahal. Seringgit setengah kan, seringgit satu paket kecil macam tu. Dekat Maiden ada jual. Eh? Itu saja. Ini mak mertua saya lah akan uh, buat ni bila dia muda-muda dulu anak-anak kecil-kecil ramai kan. So bila dia Tak ada masa nak buat, nak uruskan anak yang kecil semua. Kalau anak-anak lapar, dia akan buat ni. So, suami saya suka lah. So, bila anak saya semua kecil-kecil, selalu dia akan buat ni. Duduk depan TV, makan dia dengan anak-anak saya semua kan. Ha, so, sekarang saya tunjuk lah. Mula-mula kita ambil ni, lepas tu kita ayak tak mahu debu-debu apa-apa. Lepas tu kita cuci. Bila kalau ada apa-apa yang tak sepatutnya tak ada dalam tu, buang. Lepas tu kita cuci sekejap. After uh, giving it a rinse and tossing off the excess water, what you do is put it in a bowl and pour some hot water and close and keep it. I would say 1 to 2 minutes. Okay? Boiling hot water. Tadi yang tidak cuci ni, lepas tu toskan air. Dan sekarang masukkan dalam bol ya. Lepas tu masukkan air menggelegak Panas, air panas betul-betul panas Okay, now I'm putting in the boiling hot water And keep it close for about 1 to 2 minutes And then you strain it Okay, about 1 to 2 minutes have passed This is what it would look like And now I would strain this Nanti dah tapis air panas ya. Dan sekarang kita tekan-tekan sikit Buang air sebanyak mana yang boleh Lepas tu masukkan dalam satu piring Dia panas ya You kena buat ni masa dia panas lagi This is still hot And you have to do this while it's hot Okay Let the steam go off somewhat And immediately put in some butter it's all, It always depends on you How much you want to put in I'm putting in about 2 tablespoons It's a very quick snack Saya pakai 2 tablespoon butter Terpulang pada diri sendiri Berapa mentega ke pelantar ke Kamu nak pakai Dan kacau-kacau Masa ni kita juga masukkan kelapa Kelapa pun terpulang Dengan awak berapa kamu nak Saya pakai macam 2 tablespoon jugalah 2 sudu makan Gula last ha? Sebab gula memang terpulang pada kamu juga Tapi uh, setengah orang suka manis-manis Setengah orang tak suka berapa manis So Taruh sikit dulu, rasa-rasa dulu ya. Put in the butter first. Everything is up to you how much you want. And the sugar goes last. But I put in 2 tablespoons of coconut as well. The sugar, let it be coarse sugar. I have fine granulated sugar here. But the coarser it is, the nicer. Put in 3 teaspoons. And just cream it up and you're ready to eat. I've used salted butter but uh, if you don't have salted butter, you just add a pinch of salt right now. I'm not adding it in because mine is salted. And that's all. It's a very fluffy thing. The longer you keep it, I put it for 1 minute plus. If you like something a bit chewy, then put it in only for about a minute. I'm tasting it. It's just nice now. This can be taken as a snack 
or if you want for breakfast as well control the sugar as to how you like it okay just that it's done ini kita selalu ambil masa kita lapar cepat-cepat nak buat sesuatu untuk uh, isi perut boleh buat ni ataupun uh, untuk breakfast hari ni nanti ambil untuk breakfast ok macam ni sajalah makan aja terus hmm sedap kalau ada gula kasar lagi bagus saya punya ni gula yang kasar tapi yang yang kecil-kecil tu untuk buat kek inilah dia Abelil instant lah dia macam kira Maggi Mi lah instant <coughs> tak lama pun dalam 3-4 minit boleh siap asal ada uh, kelapa parut dengan gula butter ok ok this is instant food those days apparently my mother used to, uh, my mother-in-law used to feed her children this and then now my husband used to feed my children this so it's ended now ok do enjoy it and don't forget to give like subscribe and share my recipes bye bye